Greetings, beloved. It's that time. We're at the powerful July 2nd, 2019 total solar eclipse. And actually, you may probably already have been feeling this one for the last month, and you may be feeling the exciting effects of this moon for up to actually more than the month. You probably will feel it for the next 30 days intensively, but there is a portal. The July total solar eclipse will connect with the July 16th partial lunar eclipse and bleed into the rest of the year until December 20. 6, 2019. My goodness. So let's dive in, understand what's going on a little bit more. A total solar eclipse represents the coming together of the new moon, a feminine energy, and a. this is also a time for new beginnings. And the new moon comes together with the masculine energy, the sun. And this is all about long-term energies divine masculine focus, goals, etc. So this is going to be a powerful shift. In general, the shifts that the total solar eclipse provide are positive as the sun is categorized as a positive planet in astrology. So we might feel like we're getting a bit pushed into some good positive changes, but it does feel like a little shocking or even unsettling. Like, you know, when you get pushed into a swimming pool to um, learn how to cool off. But go for the goal and remember that this is part of your soul purpose. Your subconscious chose this. You are up leveling. This is a spiritual awakening. If you go through some big, intense challenges. challenges. Okay, so let's do our card reading. Okay, we have for our feminine energy. Dun -dun -dun. This is so funny. I've been getting this card a lot. So the Ten of Wands. This is for our feminine energy. And here is for our masculine energy. We have the Six of Pentacles. And our union. I've also been getting these cards <laughs> a little bit lately with my clients. All right. Cool. So, um... <laughs> The first thing that I'm seeing is that we have in the union space, we have this, this maybe a couple and you know, they're destitute in poverty. It's cold. They're looking for shelter. What this represents, this card can represent, you know, that challenge of getting our root chakra grounded, but also having the spiritual faith, you know, the, the temple taking care of us. So what I'm sensing from this card is that there's an old, old agreement and this is my intuitive download and it's what I've been getting for a little while with this card is that we have a lot of soul family actually coming through Egypt so those of you who are watching you've had past lives in Egypt and there has been a kind of a fall of an empire that's been going on for um, thousands of thousands of years where we have been struggling for survival, really since the floods of Atlantis, um, we've been, you know, struggling to regain the seat of the divine feminine. We've been struggling to become sovereign beings without the influence of different organizations, churches, leaders, um, you know, school systems, healthcare systems telling us this is what we have to do to be on this planet and to survive. So as a soul family, we're coming together. It's when you come together this month with your soul family, especially I, I recommend to get together with friends on July 2nd. But even in this gathering right here that we're having for this tarot card reading, we're actually coming together to celebrate that we've overcome this chapter of, you know, searching through the snow, this struggle, this strife that has been going on for so many thousands of years since the fall of Atlantis, since, you know, um, things went down and got dark and dirty. So even though this looks like a really sad thing, we're actually celebrating we've made it. We are rising with the new sun. We have this total solar eclipse that's bringing in positive energy. It's actually connecting in to kind of where we left off. So were you a healer, a teacher, a business person, uh, a priest, a priestess in Atlantis. In in you know Egypt was um, one of the um, continuations of Atlantis in a way. It was a survivor's colony, so to speak. 
So there's, there's this um, other world that we're remembering opening up to. So I wanted to start off with the union card because that's what I'm seeing. And we'll go into the feminine here. So we have the five of wands and we have this, this feminine energy is like really planting seeds down. She's making plans for her, you know, we have her castle here, but what, what's really being created is there is a new paradigm being planted here where she is no longer in agreement of following the old patriarchal way. She is ready to um, create her mission her own way. So I see a lot of you launching new blissnesses or um, shifting your blissness so it's more feminine. You are starting to own your voice in a new way. You are really owning your, your root chakra your way versus, okay, the money system taught me to do this. My father taught me this. My mom taught me this because she was programmed by the masculine. So there's this like super beautiful masculine, like, huh, like planting the stake into the ground energy, but it hasn't quite happened yet. So what we're being asked here to do is to take action, to call out for help. You know, one thing that you can do if you're launching your blissness, or if you are looking for something, some resource, some support is literally meditate. Who am I supposed to contact? Call them up, message them. They might not have the resource for you, but just asking that will open a door or perhaps they'll say, I know someone who does. Maybe two weeks later, they'll say, Hey, so-and-so is looking for a mentor. Hey, I think you'd be the perfect coach and you get your new client set up. So let's just activate the planting of the new seeds with this beautiful peach calcite. And with our masculine, so we have this um, kind of savior energy. Um, there is a, I can't remember how the saying goes, but um, I know my brother worked in the Peace Corps and the idea is you don't just donate money, you teach people how to be empowered. So there's this kind of old past patriarchal system of like, giving to the poor, which isn't a bad thing. But what I'm seeing is actually letting go of a part of ourselves and a part of our, our actually our feminine where we would look to a savior. We would look for Papa to come save us. Maybe you have been in a, in a dynamic with a man where when you ran out of money, you would, you would stick around or ask for help. Maybe this was your ex-husband or your father. Um, maybe you've been trapped in some type of um, romantic relationship due to financial circumstances. Or maybe you've been avoiding a relationship with someone that you think might tie you down. Um, I have many women that say, you know, I'd rather be single than be stuck with some guy that squelches my spiritual style. So start to look for a partner who actually supports your highest light, your passions, your interests, your, um, your gifts. Um, so we're kind of releasing this dynamic of the wealthy, the poor, the, you know, the king giving to the poor, and instead we're becoming these sovereign beings. So it's kind of like embrace, it's time to embrace in your masculine, in this, your masculine side, it's time to embrace that you are already wealthy. You are already gifted with sovereign gifts to create your, your, you know, your abundance, I created a six figure business off of $200. I had $200 and I found someone to help build a website and I traded her and she was an amazing artist. She built this gorgeous website and I just shared my passions. This is what I do. I started speaking on YouTube. I started to, you know, just give in service to humanity. I started learning um, about business. I had like a free ebook from this amazing mentor and I later was able, able to um, tell her when I met her at this charity event in Hollywood with all these celebrities and wealthy people. And I said, you know, your ebook changed my life. I went from making, you know, $4,000 a year to making six figures. I hit it this month. And so um, she was just so grateful. So, you know, whether you have your high end coach who's helping you, or if you can just take action based on the resources that you have in this moment, do take action and build up 
your power slowly, slowly. Eventually, I ended up having enough money that I invested in a coach that was able to really help me grow my business so I'd understand what I was doing, so I could really sustain it, so I could help more people, so I could feel more confident, so I wasn't alone in the business world. And it's just amazing. I bump into my coach all the time here in um, the Southern Hemisphere in Bali. I guess it's actually on the equator. But anyways, long story short, I want you to know that you have the answers inside of you. You can build whatever you want, no matter where you're starting from, whether you're a multiple millionaire or if you are, you know, just getting started Take action, make the commitment, believe in yourself, plant that feminine energy down into the earth, do it your own way, follow your bliss, create your blissness, create your blissful relationship with your beloved, your way, be who you are and let him come to you versus chasing after him. And we will overcome completely this traumatic journey that we've been on to restore the light and wisdom, the ancient teachings of Atlantis, the teachings of, teachings of the twin flames, the teachings of mysticism, alchemy, um, all of the amazing things that we're learning as ascension, um, ascension seekers. All right. Well, it is time to wrap up. And if you haven't grabbed it already, we are still gifting out our 22 Twin Flame Signs of Reunion PDF. It's a checklist. You can grab it for free. I've linked it down below and I wanted to share it with you because it has helped me and so many of my clients to get clear on what they need to look for in terms of their life partner, um, the signs and symptoms that you're on that right path, where you need to maybe course correct. And I have put the link in the description box below. You can grab it for free for now. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button because I'll be coming out with a couple more videos in the next few weeks. And um, blessings and bliss from Perth, Australia. Namaste. Namaste.